Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. So I don't really know why I haven't made a dedicated video for the Harry Potter Hogwarts acceptance letter. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I actually did make uh, two different versions of this so far. One of them is included in my very first Muggle Magic video, which was uh, Harry Potter Printables Volume 1. Um, it wasn't the best replica, it was just a, a quick thing that I put together. And then the other one was actually a party invitation that was modeled after the acceptance letter. But I have not yet made an actual replica of the acceptance letter. So I figured I'd just go ahead and kick off the new year with the Hogwarts acceptance letter. So speaking of the new year and the holiday, I hope everybody had a great holiday and a wonderful new year. Um, I'm actually recording this before the new year and I'm sure that I will post it on New Year's Eve probably or maybe a day before. Either way, you can check out the links in the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need as well as the free downloadable templates. The free downloads don't actually include the Hogwarts seal, the, the Hogwarts coat of arms that's on the letter. So you'll just need to search Google. Literally, you'll find like hundreds of results for the Hogwarts seal. Pick the one that works best for you and put it on the file. You can use Photoshop for that or you can use GIMP for that. Or you can become a patron and I have tons of extra downloads on Patreon that are definitely worth it. So I suggest you check that out. Anyways, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is download and print the templates. Like I said, you may need to add the Hogwarts seal on it yourself. However, the text is all gonna be there. Um, there are two pages. One of them is the actual letter, which is handwritten by Minerva McGonagall with her signature down here. And then the other one is just a list of school supplies. So these are printed double-sided, and then we just wanna cut all the white off of these. And once you have them cut out, the pages should look like this. The next thing we want to print out is the envelope. And this I printed on 11 by 17 paper um, and it's double sided as well. There are two versions of this one. One of them is for the Cricut, which uh, adds leaves some extra on the outside here so that when it cuts, if it's not exactly lined up, you won't have white on the edge. The other one is exactly this, the shape that it needs to be. And that one is what you wanna use if you're cutting it out by hand with scissors or whatever you're gonna use. I'm gonna use the Cricut Explore Air 2 to cut mine out. If you are, if you cut a lot of things out of paper or cardstock or cardboard or anything like that, and if you wanna cut more intricate designs and cut things out faster, you should get this. It was the best purchase of the year for me, I think. Also, if you're cutting out like a whole bunch of these envelopes to use for a party or a wedding or something, the Cricut can cut these out and save you a bunch of time and a bunch of labor, so yeah. So now once we have this letter completely cut out, we just need to fold this up and I'm gonna use a glue stick to stick these. To, you could probably use uh, like double-sided tape as well if you wanted to, but I'm gonna use um, glue, a glue stick. So you can kind of see um, over the edges here where to fold. I'm gonna just put a little fold on this side. Honestly, uh, now in hindsight, I know that I, the Cricut can do scoring as well. So it probably would have been smarter for me to score this and then fold, but hey, this will work too. Then I wouldn't have to guess where the, where the folds are. <laughs> There we go. And then there's a bottom one right here. It's pretty obvious where that fold goes as well. Whoops. Okay, I folded in the wrong spot at the top at first. So now these two are folded. And then it's pretty obvious where the sides need to fold in. So just go ahead and make those folds as well. And there we go. So now you should have this. And then the, these two edges are gonna fold in. And then this, you're gonna wanna put glue along these two sides and then this is gonna fold up and glue down. And then you have your Hogwarts envelope. I don't wanna get glue on the inside of my envelope at all because then it might make the letter stick to the inside of it. So I'm gonna put a piece of scrap paper down 
And then I'm gonna use a glue stick to uh, glue just these edges here. And then this can fold up and we can glue that down. And there we go, now we have the Hogwarts envelope. And of course inside the envelope we wanna put the letter. And this is the letter in the supply list. I'm gonna take these and fold them in three places. The first place I'm gonna fold is right above where it says, Dear Mr. Potter. And then the second fold is pretty obvious. We're just gonna fold that over just like this. And there we go. So now we have our letters folded up just like that. And then we're just gonna take these and put them inside the envelope. One thing you could include in here in addition to the letter is the uh, Hogwarts Express ticket. But yeah, we're just gonna do the letter in this video. Now, when it comes to the wax seal, there are two ways you could do this. One, I've included a template for this, which you can print out and use your Cricut to cut out, which is what I did, or you can use scissors or whatever means you want to cut these out. And you can print these on cardstock, or you can print them on sticker paper and uh, glue them down. So this one is on cardstock. So if I were to use this, I would just glue it right here. And it actually looks pretty decent on there. Um, obviously you can tell when you actually are handling it that it's not actual wax. From a distance it looks pretty good, but when you get close up you can tell it's just printed. But that's a great option if you don't have a wax seal or, or a way to do that. However, I'm gonna use a wax, uh, actual wax uh, seal to, to seal this up. I have the Hogwarts, uh, actual like official Hogwarts stamp here, which didn't really work out because it's the exact same image that I have right here on the envelope. So it looked really weird having two of them. So here was my prototype that I did uh, when I was actually designing this. And yeah, as you can see, it's basically the, this exact same image right there. And that's not what it's supposed to look like. In the movie, it's in just an H for Hogwarts. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So again, I'm gonna get my scrap paper out right here. I'm going to use this H, and actually it's kind of like a cursive H that I have, I have a full alphabet here and that's why I'm using this one. The one that you wanna use is not cursive, but you know, this is what I had, so this is what I'm gonna use. And then we just want, I'm gonna leave my, uh, the stamp right here, I'm gonna make sure that it's right side up, just how I want it, so I can easily just move it over from here to here and stamp this closed. But for now I'm gonna leave it here so that that helps hold this flap down, so it's not, you know, open when I'm trying to do this. Actually, I cannot find my lighter, so I'm gonna use matches for this. Um, so here's my scrap paper. We'll start a match up and start melting this wax. And once you have it melting really well, you can start melting it onto your letter. Oops, got a little ashes on there. And that blob is probably big enough. Carefully move this over so you don't get a, a drip, whoops, a drip on your envelope. And then take your stamp and press right in the middle. And it may take just a, a moment to actually, um, you know, harden and, and dry up. And when you think it's dry, it's probably dry, it only takes a minute. And we can lift this up and there we go. And that is it. This is what it should look like when you're done. Um, should have the address on the back. Now, I know you're probably wondering how you customize this to customize the text. And I do have a customizable template available on Patreon. Um, I, whenever I make a project, if there's a, a need to customize it, I post my uh, PDF files on there. As, and inside those PDF files, you're gonna find which fonts I used and you're gonna find you know all of the different assets that you need to make this. So yeah, if you're interested in customizing this, check out Patreon. If you'd like to win the Hogwarts letter that I made in this video today, um, I'm not gonna open it, so it's still gonna be sealed when it comes to you. And yeah, there's a giveaway link in the description box below. It's the weekly giveaway link. Down there, you're also gonna find a 40K giveaway link. And I have the 40K giveaway ending on February 14th, which is my birthday. 
yeah, I'm hoping that we can reach uh, 40K subscribers by February 14th. So if you like Harry Potter, DIYs and free templates and giveaways. That's what I do on my channel all the time. I also do unboxings and reviews of different things having to do with Harry Potter. And sometimes I stray off and do some other franchises, but mostly it's all Harry Potter. So yeah, if that's something you like, go ahead and subscribe. It'll help get to that 40K mark so that I can give away the mystery box. And you're probably wondering, what is the mystery box? Well, there's gonna be seven items, so I'm gonna handpick five of them from uh, past DIYs that I've done, and then two of them are going to be projects that I have never released on my channel before, and I won't release them until after the box is won and received. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.